hello guys welcome to another episode of the Linux mania today I am doing a review about a Linux distro called Zorin OS this Zorin OS is a Ubuntu based Linux distribution this distro is mainly used for those guys who were using who are using Windows Linux oh. the Linux here it is uh, the main specialty in this Linux distro is that the menu start menu type thing in this Windows it has a start menu like in Windows so those who are can I say those who are familiar with this uh, Windows XP or Windows 7 will be easy to use this distro and this distro is very much like a Windows distro and yeah, everything is same as uh, Microsoft Windows. The only thing, the appearance, every the appearance of this software is like Microsoft Windows. So it is. That's why it is mainly used, mainly recommended for uh, Windows users who are willing to come to Linux distro so here it has a pre-built uh, software installed in this distro uh, I will say uh, Archive in accessories there is an Archive manager for extraction compression etc a calculator for calculation, a character map for your keyboard, a disk utility. It is uh, pretty much like um, it is. Uh, this is software where you format your disk or external disk, etc. etc. Uh, uh, files. Uh, it's like places you can go, like home folder, etc. And this thing I installed, it's a fingerprint reader. I have a fingerprint reader computer. It also supports a fingerprint reader. A GUIC terminal. This GUIC terminal is a simple terminal, but it's a drop down terminal. If I press F12, it comes like this. Pretty much easy. Look how fast it is. Now, there's help for if you needed any help a screenshot of your uh, distro this one I installed this is a uh, accessibility software so that you c you don't want to go to this menu you just press control space then a menu will appear type what you want enter it comes very fast a very useful software for all Linux distros. Uh, now, it also has a default terminal window. I am a Star Trek fan, that's why I used a United Federation of Planets wallpaper. So, now. This distro uses a 3.2.0 Linux kernel and not much latest, but it is somewhat what can I say? Latest. It also is a text editor, it is a G edit, it's the best text editor in the Linux distro. 
for me uh, yeah. is a great test as a gd 3.4.1 version then obviously when it's a trash icon is very familiar like windows uh, now in games contains uh, solitaire, free cell, mahjong, mines, sudoku, quadruple, like this stuff and in graphics uh, this is blender is not uh, pre-installed as uh, I installed manually uh, it can use a document viewer so where you can view PDF documents uh, document viewer 3.4.0 it's a nice thing, nice software for PDF viewing. And it also contains a game image editor. This thing is, this software is game pre installed. Uh, it is a nice, like Photoshop, like for Linux. And there is image viewer for viewing this image, not editing, only viewing. It's a 3.4.2. Uh, it's, it, uh, it uh, also comes with a pre-installed version of LibreOffice which is an equivalent version of Microsoft Office so it is very good and there is also a short real photo manager a simple scan if you have a scanner or something connected to it now again in the internet session you have a desktop sharing you can share desktop through this software and then for the instant messaging it's an instant messaging software a google chrome uh, have a browser a gibbar which is a client for twitter uh, i'm a desktop client i don't know what this is uh, skype this is i installed uh, thunderbird this is a pre-installed Thunderbolt mail. I like Outlook Express of Linux version. Uh, transmission at torrent client, BitTorrent client. And a uh, Zorin web browser manager. Manage your web browsers and stuff. Now in the office tab, office section, we get a dis dictionary. Again, the document viewer. Uh, library office, everything. Uh, library office calc for and calculations and stuff like spreadsheet uh, draw for painting and stuff impress I think it's for powerpoint and writer like word microsoft word now in sound and video we have Braserio a cd writing software a webcam booth cheese webcam booth software which just you can make funny pictures from your webcam uh, Gamecaster, this I this is a third party software that I installed manually. It's a movie player, it's a Tontom movie player. I think so. It is a ah, yeah, Tontom movie player 3.0.1. I have pretty much slick movies player and it can send open shot video editor. Uh, record my desktop, this I installed manually. Uh, rhythm box music player. Uh, it is a nice music player. It's like in Ubuntu, it consists of everything default in Ubuntu. It's a 2.96 version. So, yeah. Now, This is sound recorder software. You can record your own sound in this software. If you have a mic, the new VLC media player is installed separately. Then in the system tool, we have administration in which uh, firewall uh, G partition. There is a partition editor, G part uh, network tools, synaptic package manager. This is. Uh, another version of software installing 
and system testing you can system your benchmark your system through the software and when the software center this software center is where you install anything to your operating system so if you want vlc to install just type vlc researches and finds a vlc this if you install it there will if it didn't install then there will be install option if you install it there will be a remove option to remove you, you can install remove update every software through this ubuntu software center it's a default software center for ubuntu register also uh, now so there is also an update manager separately then as a the window wireless drive drivers and wireless now there is also compass manager if you can change this the wobbling effect every other i can the effect through this software again desktop sharing this utility preferences you know main menu onboard settings like that stuffs and startup application so you can you can check or uncheck what you can check or uncheck any softwares that are being run at the start of this distro and the disk is analyzer to analyze how much your disk uses so and there's an ib software i don't know what this is eh? a log file viewer everything is about log files and stuff this i installed that part and it's a power study is how much your power uses as much can your power is used by your computer the system monitor to monitor your uh, software cpu usage and some etc system settings to you know system settings and there is an ubuntu tweak to tweak something in you inside your own like cleaning cache or something like that and there is this is the main thing is zorin look change this thing is uh, for the windows users who are who are you know coming to linux if they are from windows and they windows 7 and they like windows 7 settings then you can press windows 7 then every this may main menu taskbar everything will change to windows 7 conf interface if you if you want a windows xp interface which i use now you can use this and if you don't like any windows user interface or like gnome default user interface you can press this it automatically changes to that configuration and as a universal access on screen keyboard and a screen reader uh, this wine software comes pre built pre installed in this software in this linux distro uh, you, uh, this wine software is uh, a software that helps uh, you to run windows softwares in linux so that's a nice one and uh, again there is um, the software center quick default one So, like in Windows, every favorite software is used here. And like in Windows, the home documents, pictures, the traditional Windows format is maintained here also. You can you can shut down using power or logout using this. And yeah, that is pretty much it. And yeah. Uh, everything is good and slick i will post a uh, download f- for zorin os in comments below um if you like this video please like it subscribe and share and Uh, one more thing i have to say is that the zorin os has a free version and 
premium version this free i am using this free version if you want to spend money on this software then you can use premium version i don't know what is may extra in that version you can check it out in the software in the link below so that is it of my review about zorin os thank you